I got the fix to my 0306. Check this out. So I'm cruising in my car last night. My car is running a little rough. Check engine light comes on. I insert my, well, I could have used my little super chips reader up here. I could have used my super chips reader, but lately I've been running this thing just to get some good readings. So that's my OBD scanner. So I ran a scan and I got the code PO306, which means my six cylinder is having an issue with firing. So what I did was, I came home, I popped out my six spark plug. This is my six spark plug back here. So I popped it out, six cylinder, looked at it, made sure that the node was good and everything, made sure it wasn't broken, made sure it wasn't wet, because if it's wet, then that's probably why I didn't get any spark. Spark plug checked out fine. So I went and got a new spark plug wire. I went and bought a whole box instead of just buying one at a time. Got a wire, put a wire on there, code kept popping up. So I just went to the store now and I bought a new coil pack because I tested my coil pack by, you know, I took this little sixth on your coil pack. You can take each one of these off. So I pulled number six off as the Jeep was running to see if I can get any spark to arc back and forth. Like I just popped it off easy. It wasn't getting any spark back and forth. So I'm like, okay, so if there's no spark, then it could be the coil pack. And the Jeep was still running the same. Like it didn't change the way it was running or anything with that off or on. That's your sixth one at the bottom. It's all numbers. It got the numbers and stuff in here. But the Jeep wasn't running any differently with this one off or on. So I'm thinking coil pack. So I went down to what? O'Reilly's. 60 bucks total. Like $59 and some change or whatever. I'm going to put a new coil pack on this thing in a couple of minutes. To see if I can get that cold to pop off. But like I said, you got four bolts and you got that adapter. Should be pretty quick. The tools you'll need is a 10 millimeter socket. Get you a nice little socket wrench. I got an extension on mine. And those are your bolts right there. There's that one at the top. And there's that one inside of there right there. That one. And your adapter right behind it. This is your adapter right here. That's the adapter. So that's your bolt. That's the adapter. This is your other bolt. It's all that's coming out. And I'll take these off one at a time and insert them onto this, you know, ignition coil as I'm pulling them off. Also, what I like to do is put a little bit of this boot protector on your sleeves here. You can put like a little bit on each one, just kind of rub it a little bit. That way, when you slide the new um, wires on, it'll come off a lot easier. Okay, got them all nice and done. You can see it's like I just kind of put a little bit around and wrapped it around. And that way, when I slip these, these new spark plug wires on here, it'll just right in place it won't hang up at all okay I've got one and three off I've got five just kind of hanging on there like that uh, but I know my one and three so I don't mix those up but like I said you got this little red tab right here make sure you pull that tab up towards the roof and then you can push this little clip in here should slide right back I heard it snap so it should slide there you go now that's all so now I can just get my 10 millimeters uh, socket pop these two off I'm going to actually link it in. I'm going to sit my new one right here, and I'm going to hook everything up on that side. I don't care about 246 right now, but my 135, because I can't see the actual plugs from this side, I'm going to do just 135 over here. I'll put 246 on once I get it up locked in place. Okay, I got the old one off right there. We'll inspect that one in a second. The new one's already on, and I have five in. There's my five at the top right here. I have five in. I have three in. I mean, it's so easy to slip them on when you've got that lube on them. So, like I said, here's this here, and you just kind of, it's right in place. Snaps right in. That snapped in. That snapped in. So, I'm going to make sure. Yep. There you go. And I already put this on first. So, my adapter is already snapped in. It's good to go and everything, but I also want my cameras doing it. There we go. Yeah, so that's already snapped in. Now I got two, four, six on this side. Two is your front, four is your middle, six is your back. So you just, and the numbers are right here on your coil, so you don't have to really worry about guessing. Six goes to six, there's a six, four, two, pretty easy. All right, so everything's locked in. One, two, three, four, five, six, everything's lubed up. Let's go jump inside real quick, start it. Now I know how my Jeep runs. It runs really smooth, like almost to where you can't even feel it running. So I don't know if that was. Ooh, 
yeah. It's back. I mean, it runs smooth right now. Very smooth. At first, it was kind of shaking to where, I mean, this whole thing, I was holding this like this because the engine was buckling so bad. So that's all it needed was a little $60 ignition coil. I mean, that right there shakes a little bit, but not like it was. I mean, at first, it was shaking like this. The whole engine was shaking when cylinder six was off. But, I mean, it runs smooth. I'm going to clear that light out with my app or whatever. Right now, it's on there. My tire has been flashing for the past year and a half. I don't even care right now. If I don't see that flashing, I think my Jeep has a problem. So that's kind of like my... Your Jeep is doing good right now. It'll flash and then it'll just sit on there. Once I put them 35s on, whatever, I'm good. But everything feels to run fine. I mean, the exhaust even sounds normal because at first the exhaust was kind of putting like put, 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 put. I can hear it real bad from inside of the car. But I mean, it's running smooth right now. So that was it. Little $60 ordeal. Uh, my next video is going to be crazy. Get ready for this one. Okay, now let's take a look at the old coil pack to see what the issue could have been. This is number six at the bottom. And as you can see, it's kind of like, you know, kind of worn a little bit. When you look at the other ones, that one's kind of nice. I mean, I can wipe it off a little bit and you can kind of see how nice it looks. That one's kind of nice. It's clean, straight and everything. But when you look at six, look at it. You see that huge chunk or something like it looks melted almost. Like something looks melted on that one. Like that one looks pretty decent. That one looks decent. So two, four, one, three, five, they all look decent. They're just, they got a little rust on them. That's it, but there's no gouges out. See how that looks? I mean, they all look pretty standard or whatever, but as soon as you get to number six, let's, let's turn this over a little bit. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus a little bit. See, there's number six right there. Ah, I hate that. But number six, just it doesn't look good to me. Like you can see it all, it's kind of chunked up or burnt looking or something like that. It's kind of weird looking. See how that is? Yeah, that's, it's not supposed to look like that. You see how that's all like kind of churned, like churred or whatever, charred, burned, churned. Yep, and that looks pretty clean. Like I said, it's, it's got a little bit of rust on it, but that's just from, you know, it. But that just looks horrible. That's six right there. Six just looks horrible. So now that's how, that's what lets me know that not only did it fix the issue, but the part was bad. So it was a bad part. Last night something happened that started sparking kind of bad, maybe. I don't know. But the new one is in. It took me a whole what? I mean, it doesn't even take you six minutes. I'm serious. It, it, I mean, to unplug that, and the, it won't even take you six minutes. So go spend 60 bucks. If you have a misfire code, I had PO306. If you got any misfire code, check your spark plug. Make sure the spark plug's good first. Then check your your wire. Make sure the wire is good. If the wire, if you replace the wire, you still got the same issue. Work your way to the next step, which is the actual coil itself on a 2011 JK. Some have coil packs. A coil pack is an individual coil pack per cylinder. And what you can do is, if my six was failed on a coil pack, I would take my six coil pack off, replace it with like the four coil pack, and see if the the code jumped to P0304. If it went from 0306 to 0304, if it jumped, then that means your coil is bad. Pull a coil out. Since this is like a unicoil system, there's just one coil that runs everything. I can't switch individual coil packs back and forth, but just a way to do it. That's all. But that fixed my problem. Jeep's ready to rock and roll. And I got to use my new hood struts. Check that out. I got to use my hood struts. It was pretty cool.